Um, hi, I'm Kristen Schmidt, and I'm here at Flying Arrow Sports in East Greenbrush, New York, with Jim Despart and Kathy, Kathy Despart. Hi, how you doing, Kristen? I'm good. How are you? Pretty good. Glad to have you today. Uh, great to see your interest in archery, and we're going to spend some time today uh, showing you all about your new bow and hopefully uh, make an archer out of you. I hope so. Interested in starting uh, maybe to shoot archery and possibly uh, bow hunt? Yes, a yeah, that's on. what I want to do. That's kind of interesting because the largest growing segment of growth in the archery industry right mm -hmm. now is among um, young girls and, and women. Certainly uh, each year we're cool? seeing more and more. Okay. So what we've done is we've taken this new Hoyt Ignite bow, okay. which has a unique adjustable cam system that allows us to fit this bow to anyone from a 19 inch draw to a 30 inch draw. Okay. So realistically, all, all of us in this room could shoot this same bow uh -huh. by changing the draw weight okay. and the draw length. So we've taken a measurement of your draw length uh -huh. and we're gonna set this bow at 25 inch draw. Okay. And we've adjusted the weight down to a comfortable draw weight. Uh, after all, shooting a bow is really not a strength contest. It's about being comfortable um, and, and being able to repeat uh, the action of drawing the bow in a smooth and, you know, yeah. uh, e although you're applying some effort to the bow, you want to be able to do it over and over and over. So, so what that weight do you have this at right now? Um, right now, if I put it on a scale, uh, I'm guessing this is about 30 pounds okay. of draw. So we're going to grab a safety release. Right now, Kristen, this bow is set at 32 pounds. Okay. All right. So you've got the safety release on your hand. Okay. Now what this allows us to do mm -hmm. is it's a non-mechanical drawing device okay. that uh, allows us to draw the bow here mm -hmm. in the shop without the risk of a dry fire. Okay. So I'm going to come around that side of the counter. Okay. And what I'd like you to do is stand right here and face me. Okay. Okay. Now I want you to stretch your arms out like this. Okay. okay. Now, we've checked your eye dominance. You are a right eye dominant person. So what I want you to do <laughs> is, as you're looking at me, I want you to just turn your head, all right, okay. towards the camera here without moving anything else. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this bow in your hand, okay. just the way I want it, right there. Okay. Now bring the hook around, and we're going to hook that into the string. Okay. And then put, go ahead and put your finger right on that bar to, just to aid in drawing the first time, what? right on the what would be the trigger, okay? Okay. Normally we wouldn't do that, but yeah, okay. it's going to help you to draw the bow the first time. Okay, good. Elbow up. Now we're going to put your nose here on the string so you can look through the peep sight or the rear sight. Mm -hmm. Okay? That's pretty good. Relax these fingers. You want a nice straight push on the bow arm. Okay, good. Shoulders nice and low here. So we want to keep this shoulder down. Okay. All right. Now the one thing we have to be aware of is where the clearance with the bowstring is in relation to your bow arm. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and let it down. Okay. <laughs> now, many times a new archer will have this part of their forearm uh -huh. in the way of the string. Okay. So and we all remember from the days at summer camp when we shoot a bow for the first time and rake that string across our arm. So my job is to make sure that your shoulder and your arm mm -hmm. position is uh, going to provide adequate clearance for the bowstring. And the way we do that, okay, is a lot of people make the mistake of putting the shoulder up and into the string. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to set the shoulder by pre-drawing the bow here and then rolling the arm out of the way. Okay. See, so we so can actually like roll. the shoulder a little bit away Relax the shoulder down and away. Okay. And then, and then this part of your arm right here, roll this part of your arm out of the way. There you go. Okay, so just go ahead and relax that arm. Like Nose that. on the string. Okay. Now see this part of your arm is a little bit in the way. There you go. That's perfect. Okay. Now you've got clearance. So we're going to actually shorten that bow up. Just one more adjustment. Okay. All right. Because we want to have the string here in the front of your face, up here on the nose, rather than back in here. Oh, okay. Um, this is very hard to be re repetitive. With a compound bow, we have the ability to fit this bow much more closely to the size and shape of the archer. Okay. And in doing that, 
Um, these bows are precision tools. They're machines. And they store the same amount of energy um, every single sh shot so that <clears throat> the archer, if we complete the same action uh, during the shot sequence, the arrow is going to land in exactly the same place every time. They're very accurate machines. Um, and as we'll see when we get out on the range, you'll impress yourself. <laughs> okay. We'll so now let's get the stance right. Good. That's it. Set the bow here. Put a slight little bend in that arm as you're drawn, and then you want to just push and pull at the same time. That's good. Elbow up. Tip of the nose right on the string. Like that? Right on the tip of your nose. Okay, good. That's better. Is my arm That's turned better. out? How it's arm looks pretty good. Arm looks pretty good. Okay. Shoulder looks okay. Now, as far as the um, this shoulder, is it up, down? I mean, is it supposed to feel like pretty straight across? Right now, it feels like it's pretty straight when I'm pulling back. It, it should be fairly level, but maybe up just slightly. Okay. Let's take a break. We'll go out okay. on the range and okay. we'll teach you how to shoot some arrows.